So here's my November 2022 update on the latest credit card news and deals. And there is a big, big, big change to tell you about if you are currently collecting or have already held up in your account Avios points or American Express reward points. Big, big change if you are thinking about converting them into Nectar points. So I'll come back to that in a minute. First of all, a few little quick things to share with you. A couple of updates on some cards that have closed. If you've already got a customer of these, then you're probably aware of this, but we have the uh, Amazon credit cards, the John Lewis credit cards. They no longer work. If you've got them, they have stopped working on the whole. The uh, Amazon Platinum card, that's going to end on the 11th of November. So just a few days left while you can use it. Now, what does this mean for you? Well, if you're a John Lewis partnership credit card uh, holder, doesn't work anymore, cut it up, get rid of it. At 31st of October, it stopped working. As we spoke about in previous updates, if you do want a new credit card from John Lewis, works exactly the same way. 1.25% back in points at John Lewis and Waitrose, 0.25% on spending elsewhere. Uh, you have to apply for this directly once again with John Lewis. However, you will be able to get uh, triple points for the first 90 days if you are successful with that. Personally, I've not bothered with it. Uh, maybe I'll look at it in the later time, but I, I've let my card go and I will get rid of it completely. Next up, there's Amazon cards. The classic cards stopped working in the middle of October, so you're probably already aware of that, to the Platinum card in a few more days. Uh, these ones, potentially, you've been moved over already into a Pulse card. And I've had some people get in touch saying a little bit confused about this, like, who is Pulse? I didn't agree to this. My contract was with Amazon. No, it wasn't. Your contract wasn't with Amazon. Your contract was with the credit card provider, which was called New Day. And New Day are the company behind Pulse. So basically, they try to make it easier. Probably a better option than what we had in the John Lewis fiasco where lots of people were being rejected for new cards given lower credit limits. Basically, what you had before transferred across. If you had the classic card, Pulse is now better because you get 0.25% cash back. If you had the premium, so the platinum card, it's now worse because you get uh, don't get that boosted rate you used to get at Amazon. And particularly if you were a prime member, it'd be 1.5%. Now, not all of you, however, would have automatically been sent or given the option to activate one of these Pulse cards, including myself. Uh, and often there's a number of reasons for that. Potentially, it's because you didn't use your card. I didn't use my Amazon card for a good, God, it must be gone for nearly two years now because I had a whole year without Amazon in 2021 and I haven't gone back to it since, since then your account will just be closed. So again, your card will work for a few more days, uh, the Platinum card, but it will stop working very, very soon. Now, Amazon are incredibly likely to launch a new card, potentially, I would imagine, maybe on the 11th or the 12th, straight after those old ones finish. And I imagine they will do this before Black Friday, which is uh, just, a, well, what, 20-something of the last, it's the third, fourth Thursday, fourth, th oh God, it's very confusing. Basically, it's at the end of November when Black Friday happens. Uh, and I imagine they'll have some offers and incentives going there. As soon as they announce anything, I will write about it over on the blog and I'll tell you about it in this next video update. Unless it's absolutely amazing, in which due to case I'll do a standalone video on it. The other change that's happened from the 1st of November is if you are a Sainsbury's Bank Nectar credit card customer. That previously used to give you uh, two Nectar points for every £1 that you spent. That's the equivalent of 1% cash back. Pretty decent. Only in Sainsbury's though. 0.125% elsewhere, so not very good at all. But now they've changed it. They've swapped it around from two points for every one pound you spend to one point for every two pounds you spend. That means you get the equivalent of 0.25% back on your Sainsbury shopping, which is rubbish. And as I'll get back, go to in a minute, there are much, much better options for you. So again, I would not be looking at renewing the John Lewis credit card. I would not be bothering about this Pulse card if you've got it at all. And I certainly wouldn't be looking at continuing to use a Sainsbury's credit card because there are much, much better options out there. One to tell you about before we get on to the big news on Avios, Amex Points and Nectar is around a, a card for stoozing. Now I did a whole video on stoozing very recently so if you haven't watched that please do check it out. It explains exactly how it works in quite detail, some of the risks you have to be aware of with it. But effectively the kind of the brief uh, explanation is you spend at zero percent you get a card for 12 months, 24 months, whatever it is, you put all your normal spending on this credit card up to your credit limit, obviously. Uh, and the money you would have used to pay that credit card off every single month to avoid interest, well, you don't need to do that anymore because it's a 0% card, not charging you any interest for that 0% period. Instead, that money you would have spent, you put it into savings. And as I outlined in my recent savings update, I do that every month, same as these credit card updates every single month, you can get up to 5.25% right now. So you put your money in there, it'll be earning interest while the debt builds up at 0%. At the end of the period, you move that savings to pay off that credit card. You've made a nice little profit and interest and you're not charged any interest on the credit card. 
So great, okay, relatively simple, but what's the best card for it? Well, the best card obviously is gonna be the one you're most likely to get. So as I say with all of these credit cards, always do an eligibility search first of all to find out your chances of getting accepted. Ideally, you want one that pre-approves you so there's no risk at all in applying. But all things being equal, there is an offer right now which makes one particularly stand out to me. This is the Barclay Card Platinum Credit Card. This will give you up to 24 months. There's no guarantee you'll get the full amount. You might get less. Hopefully you do the eligibility search. It will tell you how long you'll get, but up to 24 months at 0%. And if you do this, if you apply for that card successfully before the 30th of November 2022 and spend 250 quid in the first 90 days, you'll get 20 pound cash back to your card. Now, I know that's not a life changing amount, but it's a decent amount of money. If you're going to do this anyway, you may as well get that extra 20 quid. Plus, there's more you can stack on top of that, because if you apply via a cashback site such as Quidco or top cashback, there's 19 pounds available for you. Now, again, make sure you do that eligibility search. First of all, on the Barclay Card website, then close down the tab, then open up the cashback site and then apply from them. It will open up the Barclay Card website again and make do the application. Don't leave that other window open, otherwise that extra 19 quid might not track. Uh, and also, if you've never used a cashback site before, there are some welcome bonuses. I've got those listed over on BeCleverYourCash.com. So head over there, £15 for top cashback, £17 for Quidco on your first orders. Credit cards might not be part of that, so maybe you do a normal shop elsewhere, but it's well worth getting those bonuses if you can. Right, let's talk about the big news now then. And this is gonna be, I think, quite uh, significant for you if you are earning or already have a stash of Avios points or American Express reward points with the intention of using them as nectar points. That increases their value. If they're Avios points, it gives them a cash value rather than using them on flights. If they're Amex points, it boosts how much they are worth. Now, let's give you a little bit of history before I tell you about what's changing. Back in January of 2021, this Avios and Nectar partnership was launched. It hadn't happened before. And this meant that you could swap 250 Avios points into 400 Nectar points. And for the first time, this gave Avios points a cash value, 0.8 pence per point. That basically meant if you had a card that's earning one Avios point for every pound you spent, it was a 0.8% cashback card. Yeah, effectively. Yes, you had to use those points in Sainsbury's, Argos, or eBay. A few other places, but mainly you're looking at Sainsbury's, Argos, and eBay. But essentially 0.8%, which made it pretty good. Not one of the best ones, but pretty good. And if you had American Express reward points, you could convert them at one-to-one -one into Avios and then get that same conversion point. If you had swapped... Um, Amex points straight to Nectar, they were only worth 0.5%. So this gave you a nice little boost there as well, an increase. So again, all those Amex reward point cards, suddenly they were worth a lot more than a lot of the other options out there. So I've been a big fan of this. I've particularly been encouraging it when you're looking at welcome bonuses. But again, uh, cards that earn Avios points, but again, those Amex reward points as well, particularly give you a really, really hefty boost there and what you could get if you're prepared to do that jump from Amex points into Avios points and then into Nectar points. This is going to change in just a few days. On the 16th of November, that value, that rate of transaction changes. You'll now need 300 Avios points to get those 400 Nectar points. And what that effectively means is a reduction of 16 and a quarter percent. Rather than getting 0.8 pence per point, you'll get 0.67 pence per point. More give or take. I've rounded it up a little bit. That is a big, big drop. Okay, so let's first of all have a quick look here uh, on a table I've got for you, which explains what that means for your ongoing earnings on some of the key cards. Now, you might have seen my video uh, just a few weeks ago on the American Express Preferred Rewards gold credit card and the restructured bonus payments they have there, which meant that you potentially could get doing that jump from Amex points to Avios into Nectar points, you could get up to 1.2% back simply because those extra points really boosted your return. That is obviously going to fall. That is going to be the basic conversion. It's a normal point you've got will be worth 0.67%. If you are hitting those uh, five grand spending uh, thresholds to get those bonuses, it'd be around 1.01%. And anywhere in between sort of five grand thresholds, it'll be between those, those levels there, maybe around 0.8, something like that. So still pretty good, still paying you a decent amount as a, as a minimum, uh, but a lot less than you would have been getting before. Uh, similarly, the American Express Platinum card, I know a lot of you will be using that right now because that welcome bonus that was on offer. Again, that one drops down for each point you convert. It will now be worth 0.67% is the equivalent if it's in Nectar points. 
Now, we're ones that correct uh, Avios points themselves. There are a number of these. The British Airways American Express card. Uh, this one, again, drops down the same as the Platinum, 0.67% uh, equivalent cash back on that. The American Express uh, Premium Plus BA card. This one does come with an annual uh, fee, uh, which can be cancelled uh, pro rata. So you get a bit of a discount on them. But if you have got that one, you do earn one and a half points for every pound you spend. So that works out now rather than 1.2%. It's now 1% equivalent cash back when converted into Nectar. The uh, Barclay card, Avios card, uh, again, very similar to the, those previous two to know about there. Uh, that one was 0.8% equivalent, now 0.67%. Um, but we'll come back to that one in a minute because that's still not a bad option. So let's, before we talk about the welcome bonuses, let's just talk about what this means in terms of the cards you should be using, the best paying cards in terms of cash back. If the best you can get from these cards, and let's focus on the free cards, at least free in the first year, is 1.01% with that Amex Gold card, and more likely it's gonna be less than that because you're unlikely to be hitting bang on those 5K thresholds, none of these are gonna be that earn you the most number of points. The best one out there right now, the American Express Nectar credit card, that will earn you two Nectar points for every pound you spend. So this is a good replacement, not just for one of these cards, but it's a good replacement for that Sainsbury's card I mentioned earlier on as well. That is on all spending, not just in Sainsbury's. Any spending you do, that long as they expect, uh, accept an Amex card, you'll get 1% back on that proviso, of course, that you have to use those points actually in Sainsbury's, Argos, or eBay. You can't use them everywhere else. Of course, there is still not a credit card, but there is a debit card from Chase Bank. Chase Bank paid 1% on all your spending for the first 12 months, or if you're an early adopter like myself, that was extended. So basically everyone who's got the card right now, uh, they'll get cash back uh, until at least, I think it's February, 2023, uh, potentially longer if you open it after that. And if you open one up now, you'll get that 1% for a year. So that's still gonna be the best option out there in terms of the rates you're going to get and that flexibility of how you use it. You can spend that money on anything. Of course, there might be times when you want a non-American Express credit card. I've just been away and I needed a card for car hire, for example. Uh, in that case, then you might want to look in at the Barclay card rewards credit card. This is a much, much lower rate, 0.25%, but it is fee free to use overseas. So that's the one that I've got. If you don't plan to do any traveling though, you want to just for the UK spending, then we'll go back to that card. I said I'll come back to it. The uh, British, uh, sorry, the Barclay card Avios credit card. This is their free card. This one earns you one Avios point for every pound that you spend. That will now be from that 15th of November, 16th of November, that will be 0.67% back you get. But that is head and shoulders above any other non-American Express credit card right now. So that's still gonna be your highest paying one out there. Yes, there are some, You might people always comment on this, hang on, but what about my NatWest Select, which gives me 1% back on supermarkets? What about my ASDA card, which gives me 1% back at ASDA? Yes, those rates are great, and then non Amexes, but all the supermarkets take American Express. So if you've got an American Express, you don't need a supermarket specific card, apart from the John Lewis partnership credit card I mentioned earlier on, which does give you 1.25% back at Waitrose. But that's the only exception. Otherwise, if you're shopping at supermarket, use your Amex, that ideally that Nectar card, get that 1%, or use your Chase card and get that 1%. So that's really roughly where we are on everyday spending right now. Of course, you might decide you want to ditch cashback cards for spending anyway and do stoozing, as I mentioned just now, maybe with that Barclay card Platinum. But again, that's one thing. But one of the things I said about in that stoozing video, do watch it if you haven't, is where cashback cards can still win is in that welcome bonus. You know, if you're eligible for welcome bonus, how much do you actually uh, earn from those? Often a huge amount, much, much better than you'll get with stoozing. And this, obviously, this, this change, the devaluation in Avios points to Nectar points is going to have an impact on you. And if you are currently spending money to try and trigger one of these welcome bonuses, mostly with American Express, but potentially with Barclay Card, then you may well struggle to meet that deadline, okay? So I wanna give you an idea of what the points are gonna be worth if you trigger that bonus after uh, the 16th of November, or if you open up one of these later in the year. Now, I've got some general thresholds here and I've got some relevant cards here. By the way, if you do want to read the full article, which goes into more detail on this change, I have got it over on the blog and I will link to it below in the notes. So 20,000 points, that's the equivalent you get if you just get a standard Amex Gold welcome bonus. Uh, that one will now be worth 134 quid in Nectar points if you go Amex to Avios to Nectar. Previously, it was 160. If you get 25,000 points, it's the standard offering that you would get 
on the Barclay card Avios Plus or the British Airways Amex Premium Plus, they would have been worth £200. Now it'll be worth £167.50. When you get into the uh, boosted offers, 30,000 is the general what you'll get for the Amex Gold. Incidentally, that is the offer right now, which ends on the 8th of November for the American Express Gold card. Then it will drop back down to that 20,000. But generally, the boosted offer for the Amex Gold is 30,000. Uh, Amex Platinum card, the standard offering there is 30,000 points. That would have been worth 240. Now it would be worth 201. And this last one here, 60,000 points. Huge number of points, but this is what you would get if you are currently working towards that boosted American Express Platinum deal, which did end in the last month. But it's been going for a while, so you may actually be coming up to it. You might even be able to trigger this before you have enough spending. As soon as you hit that spending level, those points are in your account. You might be able to do that before that November, mid-November deadline. If not, if it happens afterwards, then you would have got £480 for those points. You'll now get £402 worth for those points. Obviously, this isn't taking into account the individual points you'll also be earning for your spending. Uh, so there'll be a bit more than that, but broadly, they also will be uh, devalued as well. So this makes, I think, quite a big difference. It's worth knowing about. It's still pretty healthy, but let's go look at that existing uh, one at the top there, the American Express Preferred Rewards Gold Card. You'll now get 134 pounds for that standard non-boosted the standard welcome offer yes it'd be a little bit higher because you would have spent three grand and be another three thousand points to add on there so another 20 quid so let's say 155 quid other cards might be giving you something similar to that with a bit more flexibility the american express uh, platinum cashback credit card will give you five percent on the first two and a half grand you spend so yes 125 quid is less than what would have been 155 quid roughly but you don't have to hit a threshold. If you spent £2,400, you'd still get some of that money. With these other cards, penny less below that uh, threshold, you don't get, don't get the bonus at all. So you might want to now start thinking about, are these cards better or not? However, saying that, I've always been a fan of waiting for, or you know, kind of telling you to wait for those welcome bonuses to come along because they are gonna get you many, many more points. But it's just worth knowing this is the situation. But what can you do about it? Well, I said about this deadline, of the 16th of November. If you swap your points before that, you will get the current rate. The rate where they work out at 0.8 pence for every single point. Now, how do you do this? Well, if we're talking about Avios to Nectar points, you have to make sure that your accounts are linked, okay? Very easy to do that. If you haven't got a BA Avios account, you set that up, very simple to do. Nectar card, again, if you haven't got one, you set it up, very easy to do and very easy to link it, have an instant link. Then when you go into your BA account, you'll be given the option to swap those points, to transfer those points across. It automatically goes Nectar to Avios. So make sure you toggle that button so uh, it goes Avios to Nectar. You can do up to 50,000 points manually, okay? So do that, 50, if you've got up to 50,000, you can transfer them now at that rate, move them into Nectar and they will be in Nectar safe and sound. If you have more than 50,000 points, which is going to be possibly quite rare, but you never know, you might have been collecting these points for a while over a number of cards and never really got around to moving them, then you can also move automatically 25,000 points every quarter. So as long as you haven't already moved those points in October, you'll be able to do this again for November. This happens every Monday. So you've got time of recording this, you've got two Mondays before that deadline for this to happen. So make sure you do that. And then make sure you turn it off because... I say it's a limit of 25,000 every quarter. If you don't turn it off, they're automatically be moved again in the new year. So potentially 75,000 points you can move over before this deadline. Now, if we're talking about American Express reward points, again, you have to link your Amex account to your Avios account. Okay, you do it that way. And then you can transfer those over at one-to-one. -one. Remember, you're converting them to Avios at one-to-one, -one, not Nectar at one-to-one, -one, because it's a lower value if you do it straight to Nectar. But one-to-one, -one, switch them over to Avios and then switch them from Avios to Nectar. Just bear in mind, once you switch them over to Avios, you can't put them back to Amex. And with bearing in mind, there's also those limits I've just told you about. Obviously, don't transfer more than you need to. You can do it at a later date because you'll get that new rate whenever you do it. But I think it's better to keep them in Amex for now than move them over and have them sit in Avios inside. You don't want to use them for Avios points or for Nectar points. Incidentally, it's also worth mentioning that swapping Nectar points back to Avios stays at the same conversion rate right now, uh, which basically means that if you swap them over to Avios, 
and then swap Avios back to Nectar, you'd be losing money. So it's a weird way of doing that. You're being penalized really for that. So this is really about, unless you really want to get Avios points, and maybe you do. I'm not a huge fan of using them for airlines because the taxes and charges are so high. Um, but otherwise, the really focus here, I would say, on getting the best you can of it at the moment. And after that, 0.67% is still not bad. It's just not as good as what you could be earning elsewhere from higher paying cashback credit cards or potentially from Stoozing. So plenty to put in there. Let me know in the comments how this change is going to impact you. Plus, if you fancy giving Stoozing a go or you're already giving it a try, let me know how that is going. My name is Andy Webb. Thank you so much for watching and check out these videos right here for more on credit cards.